May 3rd, 2020. Yesterday was kind of busy out here. Hey, I want to show you a secret spot. So I'm going to take this uh, creek over here and we'll get back to it. Okay. Made it. This is the other side of the old road, right? So you know where we're at. So we're going to go off into these woods. Almost there. Let's keep going. Straight over there. So, this burned out log oak tree has a bit of a story to it. It's a cool little place to chill out now. Especially with all this all this room now to sit on the uh, the old logs. So, what's the story? Well, have we all heard about the Keebler tree out here? So there's like this hollow tree down the creek over there and people put stuff in it. I call this the original Keebler tree out here because when it was standing, I could get in it and stand up. Of course, not much anymore. The other part of the story is, so what the hell happened? Well, besides it being hollowed out over time by people burning it apparently, uh, one employee of the Forest Preserves told me a story. He had to come out here to the cemetery. This tree right across the creek, right across from the cemetery. So that would be the cemetery here. And uh, it was for a fire. It turned out it was this tree, but the tree fell over. And they just kind of like let it go. So that's the, uh, the ending story of the uh, burning tree, the original Keebler tree. I guess this would be a good spot to plop my ass down and... Recall events of yesterday, and so we had some magnet fishing going on, which is what I was suspicious about how the garbage can was pulled out, but uh, no, it wasn't that magnet fisher. Uh, had some people doing some grave rubbings on the headstones, I haven't seen that in a while. Um, just a massive amount of people. It was more than October season, it, it was crazy. Today's much more manageable. I guess people being indoors all this time with the pandemic it just drove them nuts. And uh, hey, why not go to the Grove? Uh, what else? Ah, uh, yes. Um, the experimental equipment I was talking about over the winter, um, some of it's, well, most of it's complete. I've been testing it out. Um, nothing to report yet. Not that I've used it that much out here. Um, but I'll probably give some samples later on about what it does. Um, because I may or may not get results out here in a paranormal fashion, but uh, at least you, you should get an idea what the hell this thing is. What else? Our new resident hippie. No, he's, he's a cool guy. Um, I, for some reason, I, I just like calling him a hippie in my head because he just he chills out at, at the creeks and or the creek, different spots, and just uh, goes barefoot and just you know puts his feet in, chills out, and he's like at one with nature and shit. So yeah, he's our new resident hippie. Maybe I got a photo I could throw it in here. I have been noticing a lot more mice this year. I might see one or two mice the entire year. I'm just seeing like just tons. Um, what's going on uh, coming next week? I hear rumors. A little birdie told me that uh, somebody's coming out here to do a live stream. So I'm sure I'll, I'll meet uh, I'll meet them. You'll find out who that is. Oh, hell, how could I forget? Okay, let's see. Uh, I can't flip the camera around on this one. So, from this kind of view, no, I'll, I'll do it better later. I have my first uh, flashing light of this year. It seems to be the brightest one I've ever witnessed. Um, it was between the fence of the cemetery and the creek. Um, yeah, it was pretty intense unmistakable I mean it, it was just like a camera flash but even brighter than what I'm normally used to um, there was only one guy in the entire cemetery with a camera with a really long lens and then I went over there to you know check him you know check him out with his stuff when uh, actually when he got back to Ruby Woods parking lot no man that guy he knows better not to use a flash during the day he had no flash wasn't ready for a flash you know so discounted that but no I know where I saw it so it was like uh, it was pretty cool 
hopefully um, it happens more frequent this year. And hey, come to the to the lookout, man. When you when you see the cemetery the way it is up over where I'm at, um, you you'll see flashes. Like when I chill out here, it's like usually it's typically in the cemetery. Uh, but you just you just see these flashes. So nobody will be around for like an hour or two, and suddenly you just start seeing these bright flashes.